Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We are going to take a look at the Scorpio Libra relationship. Okay, guys, I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this energy. Uh, all right. I feel like there's somebody in this connection who. has been paying a lot of attention to their intuition in this particular couple, all right? And I don't know when this started as of late. I feel like whoever this is has always been keen, always aware. But I feel like they may have been misled a little bit. I, I'm not quite sure how to describe it. I can't quite say that yet. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. So I'm not sure. But there's something with your intuition where you've been paying attention to all your senses and you know there's something that you know. And you've been opening yourself up to truth. Okay. I also feel like you told yourself, whoever you are, I am not a rescuer. And this has been a going theme, not only for water signs, I think but for a lot of signs. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not a rescuer. I'm a mentor. I no longer assume everybody wants my opinion. So I kind of feel like whoever this is, they're a little bit of a talker. Right? And they're taking responsibility for their own happiness. And the tide of like... Hmm, you'll see. The tide of sacrificing themselves... There's a lot of sacrifice, people pleasing. Mm, areas of opportunity that I can see right now. Freedom of choice. I need to understand that I have the freedom to choose whatever it is I want. Okay? And I own my own feelings and I own basically all my behaviors in the way I do things. Right? I'm owning how I allow people to treat me, how I feel like I have to be submissive to certain things I'm not doing that anymore so I feel like that's the thing you are now choosing not to do certain things not to not to go along with things that you maybe don't agree with I have free will to choose how I respond I do not always have to say yes and I feel like we had a lot of yeses out of whoever this is but I am now going to respond in clarity and wisdom so if I got to go to work at 1130 because I worked the overnight shift, I can't come pick you up at 10. I can't do it. All right. <sighs> Let's see. Another area of opportunity, oneness and unity. I think there are, I think there is in this, in this particular connection, I kind of feel like there is something wrong with you guys coming together. I think that you have one person who's willing to come together, willing to put the work in, and the other one seems, I don't know, I'm getting this energy of, hmm. first of all, aloof. Hmm. Okay, we'll go there. But you see everything as part of your own life. And you always try and bring things together. You always try and bring certain things out of people. You bring harmony into your life and theirs. That's why you're careful the way you do things. But I think that there's been an element of going along with other people's ideas, right? And supporting other people to the point where it impacts you. There's somebody in this connection who now has clarity about something. They're going to start operating in singleness single-mindedness meaning I'm gonna build up my own stuff I'm gonna discipline myself just like you disciplined yourself and I'm gonna prosper I'm gonna be good at this because I've been left out in the dark too long I feel like there's somebody in this connection who sat here with this other person because this is Libra and Scorpio now I don't know I don't know there's somebody in this connection who has uh, something where they want to I want to do something I supported you, I let you do what you had to do, I let you find yourself, I let you go to school. I have developed nothing about myself. The only thing I got out of this was learning how to wait. And I'm not waiting no more. Alright. I don't know who that is. 
what they wanted you to know. Mm, okay. Ah, let's see what's going on. Opportunity. Well, okay. So we have somebody here. I don't know who this is. Who, in their opinion, I operate in wisdom and discernment. I practice discernment. I listen, and when I listen, I'm, I'm processing. I choose to respond to them rather than just react in situations. I like to act with clarity, courage, and conviction. I choose to respond to rather than just reacting. Acting with clarity. So you might have somebody who... Like, you may have had a conversation with this person a couple of times. I had, like, a conversation with you. And it seems like there was no follow-up, right? Because it's not that this person is not following up. This person is still thinking and processing what it is you're saying. You have somebody in this connection that might move a little slower, right? You have somebody in this connection who is, um, they know what they want. Free thinker. They're going to put themselves aside for a little bit. But that only lasts for so long. And it looks like somebody in this connection is, is ready to explode over this. Like, I pretty much had enough of being put in the back burner. And I feel like they're angry at their self. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I need water. All right. Um, I feel like there is miscommunication in this connection. And I feel like that because I, I feel like one person is honestly using their third eye to see now just because you have a third eye it gives you this vision where you can see things you feel things you put stuff together you ought to piece it right but it's not as easy for some people to come to a conclusion some people have to probe more some people have to investigate a bit more they need to find out what it what each facts means right but then you have some people to just look at it and they're like all right that's done i already got that right so do we have somebody who's moving in wisdom and discernment and they're not communicating it to the other person now I see that as as a good thing. That's the way they're moving. I think I think whoever the other person in, in this, is in this connection, they haven't had the chance to express to you how they think. How, you have to really sit back and look at their behavior and see that they kind of take their time with things, with the exception of their careers. All right. Everything else? All right. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look and see. So... Um, areas of opportunity. Um, I think this prop, I think this person in this connection is worried about their potential. Like, am I meeting my goals? Do I have the strength and resilience to allow myself to shine? Hmm, that's a very different... I grow in consciousness and overcome and transcend life's challenges. But the funny thing about this person is they also claim to have a problem with shining. Mm -hmm. So everybody got a problem with shining. Yet somebody's shining more than the other one. All right, let's take a look and see. Um, hmm. Okay. I think there's something else that needs to be said about this other energy here. Not the one who, this is just, I don't know what this is. But there's something to be said about this energy here. This person has, um, this person has a lot of insecurities as well. They also, they're focused on, or they need to focus on their courage and faith. There's something that they keep edging towards. I don't know. There's something that they're edging, edging towards. And I don't, I don't feel like, I feel like no matter what this person accomplishes, I don't. I don't know that they're going to be happy with it. I think there's always going to be something where I need to, okay, I'm a district attorney now. I need to be this. I need to be that. Oh, I need to be this. I need to be that. Like, there's always some goal, which is awesome, right? But I think the, the, I think there's some miscommunication with the partner. I feel like at one point, good jeez. All right, I'm at nine minutes. Let me, I feel like, at, at, let me just go ahead with this. I feel like in this particular energy... <clears throat> I feel like you have somebody in this connection who's taken so many risks and I feel like you have somebody else in this connection who has sat by them while they've taken all these risks and I don't think that the risks are bad risks that's a lot of sus sus but I feel like somebody fell in the back burner because of it right 
So somebody is intelligent, educated, all this potential, all these great ideas, yet I sit and I watch you, and I watch you move, and I get nowhere. Who's to blame for that? You or them? I'm just saying. All right. Okay, let me go back over here. So we also have the courage and faith. We went over that. Selflessness. I'm kind and aware. I try and be of service. Everything I do is from a spiritual perspective. I really believe this. I really believe that one of you guys are operating out of a spiritual sense or a sense of I want to be somebody, I want to be something, but sometimes it might be too much for the other person and you need to allow room for your partner to shine in this connection. We have bull spirit, tenacity, dependability, mm, groundedness, selflessness. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Again, twice. Control, passion, influence. Let me know you like your influence, Libra. I'm just saying. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. I think Scorpio does too, to an extent, but okay. Mm hmm. All right. So let's take a look and see what else is going on. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Somebody in this connection, I don't know who it is. It's starting to see that there are some things that they've been ignoring about themselves, right? Like, I suppress my talents, I, supp I suppress my intellect, I suppress something, I, I gave up my job to stay home and cook and clean with kids while you went off. Uh, I don't know, things like that. I supported you while you went to school and I worked full time. I couldn't take this other petition because of the hours and the kids. Whatever this situation is, you guys could be married, I have no idea. Um, but something like that. I feel like the light is being uh, shown on the fact that you've been neglecting yourself, right? And nothing remains in the dark. You're now figuring out somebody in this connection that, oh man, all these years have passed by and what do I have to show for it? I feel like, I feel like you might be losing hope in this matter, whatever this is or whatever this feeling is. But you also need to know that, and this is a going theme too, the impossible is possible. That's come up like in every Scorpio reading, the ones that I've been doing. I don't know, but I keep getting the same card, but maybe it's because I'm using the same deck, reading the same. <laughs> All right. All right. So then we have some challenges. Some There have been some changes and losses coming to finances. It could be. It could be finances. It could be material things. Like, they could be taking things from you, literally. Like, and I've said this in another reading, there could be, you know, banks coming after you. So, that stuff is going to end. And I always want to say, too, because I've been seeing this a lot, just so I'll throw it out there. Make sure you pay attention to dates and contracts. Contracts, dates, deadlines, that's important, too. All right. We have another energy here who is rejoicing. They are happy. They're excited. They chilling with family members. You probably at the function. Like, what the? Mm. Okay. So there's a common goal with the, with the gathering of the families and so forth, right? This talks about expression, groups, and growth, right? So I kind of feel like there's somebody in this connection who... Uh, how can I put... Is... Has achieved something. There's some sort of achievement here. There's something that they're celebrating, Right, and they're celebrating with family, so this could be some kind of get together going on or something like that. But this is about something, this is about being a guest of honor, like you know what I mean. Like, this is about kind of like we're celebrating you, your accomplishments. This could be a promotion at work because this reading does talk about not only family members, it talks about co workers. So, this could be something having to do um, with work. But I also, feel, I also feel like there's some kind of, you know, there's a disconnect in the relationship here. It's a spiritual union that seems to be kind of deteriorating, right? So there's some kind of decline in emotional bond here between the two of you guys. And one of you is just, just you lost hope in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So there's something wrong with the bond there. The bond that you guys had before, you don't have it anymore. And this is, this card is asking, how are you going to respond to this situation? Whoever this is. You're being asked, or you, you, you already know that there's some emotional loss. There's some resentment. I feel resentment. I feel people like, I feel like some, somebody's punishing themselves in this thing. Like, 
And I also feel like there might be somebody who's afraid to express that. But I also think there's somebody else that doesn't understand. I think there's a lack of communication here. Hmm. But there's some choices that need to be made, right? This is about choices in love and choices in business. And it's some kind of decision that needs to be made. These cards are advising you to stay flexible. All right? I see that there's, you, there's somebody trapped. I think it's both you guys. I think it's both you guys that feel trapped. But I think you feel trapped for different reasons. I think both you guys can't see the road ahead. I think both you guys feel misguided about this relationship. I think there's just a lot of misunderstanding. I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about you two together, period. I feel like one and there's one over here that be wilding with the mouth. I think I said that. I said talker. So that means they... they I think that this person, whoever this talker is, I feel like this person has sat back for a long time and they really haven't said too much. They believed in the plan. They went with the plan. But I think as the years passed or months passed, they found themselves um, basically this relationship was your world. Like there was nothing that represented you. It was all about the other person. And now you are looking to, I am going to exercise these skills that I have. I'm going to put myself out in business. You have something that you're looking to do now. And I feel like you may feel like you lost your integrity in the process of this. And I feel like you are punishing yourself, whoever you are. All right. So that's just one person. The other one, I just kind of feel like, I think they, I think they know something is wrong here. But I think that, I just think there's complete misunderstanding about who each of you are. Because we do have one who's operating genuinely and it takes them longer to process, right? So if somebody makes you think something is okay and you never say anything, how is it going to get better? So have you addressed it? I think the, this, the financial changes, I don't know what that was about. I think, like I said, I believe maybe somebody had something go on. I feel like maybe, I don't know, I feel like somebody may have given up a job for this relationship, if that makes any sense, whether it be a stay-at-home mother or, or I, I don't know, maybe you lost your job or maybe this whole, I don't know, maybe this whole connection here drove you broke because you do send, you tend to be giving a lot of yourself. And I think that you giving so much of yourself, you, whoever you are, is like sucking you dry. All right, let me go on with this. Okay, so it looks like both you guys may be trapped in fear right? And you don't necessarily know what to do. You don't know what you're going to do about the situation. This card is telling you that when you feel trapped in fear, you might want to seek help. Like you're trapped in your mind. Things are playing out over and over and over again. Like, I don't know what I did wrong. It's simple. All you guys have to do is talk to each other. To me, it's simple. But then again, we are talking about, you know, we have stubborn energy here. So, well, I feel it. I don't know how that's going to go. But somebody right now is wilding out. And the thing is, I, I just feel like this person is somebody who holds things in and they don't tell you they're mad till they're mad mad. You know what I mean? So you got to do a better job with that. Okay. We are trapped in fear. We have recognition and awards. So yeah, somebody is, somebody is doing a great job somewhere. And I feel like in the process of this success and having to make these decisions, choices, I feel trapped. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is going over and over and over again in my head. These are the two things that are stuck in my head right now. What am I going to do about this relationship? And how am I going to get ahead with this bread? Like, I need to work. So I feel like work might be going okay. There's going to be some recognition and reward. And I think you're going to be acknowledged by family, friends, a group of people, right? And it's going to come together for a common goal. And I believe that the common goal is whatever it is you're trying to, to achieve, but you are the guest of honor, Right? I feel like somebody in this connection has now taken on a position of authority. And I don't necessarily feel like this person who's now taken on this, um, and it could be both of you, because this, this is your, your collective energy. So I kind of feel like both you guys are looking to manifest, manifest stability, right? And I think that one of you guys are in a position now where you've been recognized for something. You're doing really good where you are at work. However, if you get this connection together and if you guys decide to stay together, 
right? I feel like somebody needs to take into consideration that, hey, this person sat through me doing this and that. I'm going to do the same for them. Now, granted, the dynamics may be changed with children. Now, both you guys are doing projects or whatever. It will change, but this card here says what? Change your life. Okay. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. A break free. Wait. Break free of crash procrastination. Yep. Embrace the opportunities that change bring. I think somebody might have been feeling left in the dark in this relationship because they allowed their partner to shine. So now it's their time, partner, whoever you are. It's their time. It's time for your partner to shine at this point. Mm, creative expression is going to be a thing for both you guys. I think you guys are going to collectively, together, as a couple, try and work on having a committed relationship, number one. However, you're also going to communicate more effectively. I express myself through talking. Singing, the playfulness of a relationship. My senses, I hear, I smell, what's around me. Basically, you're going to start paying more attention to the way you love each other, if that makes any sense, if you choose to stay with this. Or this is just a common energy of something that you guys know you need to do in this connection. We need to express ourselves better. Like, this is honestly who I am. Like, I really do pray three times a day and meditate, da 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 da, -da. And it's funny because it's like, don't you know that? But don't you know I'm the person who supported you? I feel like you guys are not bigging up each other. And that's an issue. Uh, the next thing we have, acceptance of self. It's time to rejuvenate myself by giving myself love. Hmm. I did talk about neglect, didn't I? I will not wait a moment longer to accept myself. I like meditating. I like taking walks. I like the trees. Yeah, when you walk on the beach with me, could you please take off your Tims? I know you don't like that, but guess what? That's what I'm asking you to do. You need to speak up. Say what you want. All right. Squirrel, you guys are looking for some kind of balance, accumulation, expediture, cheerfulness, carelessness, drive, instinct, motivation. You guys are looking at each other. I think this is, I think this is, I don't think this is bad at all, to be honest with you. I but I think that collectively, I think you guys, as long as you understand and recognize what some of the challenges are, I think you'll be all right. I think that whoever is the one who, I guess, made it to the top or whatever, <laughs> whoever made it to the top, uh, I think that you need to allow your partner to make it to the top now. So you need to find some time in your little schedule so, so she can get up on YouTube and do her cooking videos or whatever she does, stuff like that. Okay. Oh, let's see. I don't know. Let's see what we can find out from here. I don't know. Please give me the energy. We'll figure that out. Okay. Ancestors. Ancestors, please give me the energy between Scorpio and Libra. The Scorpio-Libra relationship, please. From May 2021. Ancestors, please give me the energy for Libra and Scorpio. 2021. Hmm. Ancestors. Ancestors. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You are lovable. Let your friends help you. These cards do say you need to seek outside counsel. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Okay. You guys could have children together. All right, one more, please. Mm, healing family issues. Yes! I love cards like this. Mm. Mm, I really hope you guys... I like it. I hope you work it out. Goodness. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, is there anything else I need to pull? Yeah, I will. Okay. Mm. Ancestors. Oh, messages for Libra and Scorpio, please. Wait, how about... Well, I don't know what this is going to look like. This is going to be a hot mess. I finally have a decent board that didn't fall apart. Let me not speak too soon. 
I still can't see them. Don't matter. Anyway, <laughs> ancestors. Mm. Please give me a couple of messages for Libra and Scorpio. Ancestors, Libra and Scorpio. Scorpio, Libra. Libra, Scorpio. Scorpio, Libra. Whatever you want. Ancestors. One more, please. Oh, one more. How about one? Oh, my goodness. Maybe you guys are buying a house. New home. Moving is a step in the right direction. Mm, so y'all healing family issues and buying houses? Yes. I'm around for that. I'm going to leave that duh. I don't want... I want to leave this here. I feel good about this. I love when families are happy and when you guys can work stuff out, man. But, you know, just so you know, whoever this is wilding out in a relationship, could you please tame yourself? I know you've been through a lot, but tame yourself. You need to go outside and meditate. I don't know. Drink some special tea. Figure it out. I don't know, but don't wild out because you do have a person who is pretty, pretty genuine. They really do just, it just takes them a while to, it just takes them a while. Mm. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Uh, I'll see you guys at the next one. Hmm. Okay. Bye, guys. I love you. Oh, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, please. Like, share, subscribe. Okay. Bye, guys.